caught up in a little traffic and Timothy got right to the back of that Peter of that uh, 51 truck of Eric Jones but not gonna be that terrible but and I think Ron has a good enough truck to do that if he can just get down right now but no Peter excuse me Townley Jones jumps Townley. in there Timothy Peter has been strong on the restarts on the weird <laughs> And welcome back, Timothy Peters. When he was way too tight, and they have freed that truck up. He said the last couple times down into the corner, he's really able to make up some ground. Blaney has moved up four spots. Spots he'll restart in fourth position. Double zero, and then he got caught up from behind by the 33 of Ben Rowe, or guys, excuse me, of Brandon Jones. Guys, remember the West race at Phoenix last November? Cole Custard led 49 and three quarters laps. Had a little bit of contact from the back with that 20 of Gray Galding into Cole Custer. Gray won that West, West, uh, West race. I'm more worried about the composure of the second row than the first. Those guys are going to have an opportunity to jump on these two leaders. Awesome. Finally got that grandfather clock. That's Matt Crafton. He's in victory lane at Martinsville. And you see the lights. Those are temporary lights that are brought in just for this makeshift victory lane. It was Typical Bristol, bumping and banging, tempers, obviously. I, I think uh, I can't wait to turn in this last night, but the first time out yesterday was a lot easier than the next two times out. Okay. Because the tires each time had, had fallen off a little bit more. And, Look at that and, stupid. Uh, Look at that thing go through that corner. Did you uh, feel that? He's our ESPN in-race reporter tonight, and let's talk to him. Dale Earnhardt Jr., Rusty Wallace up in the booth. You got us? Dale, Rusty up in the booth. You got us? I got you. All right, buddy. Dale, 16 years ago today, you won your very first NASCAR Nationwide Series race. And every time you come here, it seems like you run really good. What is it you like about this track? A live look inside Trevor Bain's car as we wrap up the first caution. Tonight here at Texas Motor Speedway, Rusty had the best description. Looks like they forgot to empty the lint dryer, the lint uh, filter in the dryer. <laughs> Take it out under caution. But these tires don't look like they want to go a whole fuel run, so I don't know if there's any advantage to coming down pit road and getting fuel only. Kyle Larson. Yeah, his, old, his old horse looked like he wanted to go toward the barn, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. He's going down the front here, headed toward turn one. You can oh. see at 190 mile an hour, and he lost a tire. Darrell, did he not? Just, I believe he just drove down through got, the grass, he, he which is did. not that's unusual exactly for doing what he that did. here. Yeah, that's right. Looking back on it, yeah, he, oh, there's no question, Larry. He was right on the back of uh, Greg Biffle, and he cut to the inside, and he just uh, ran out into the grass. And it was. It looks like Harv's got a little bit of a run going down the back. Got off a turn two there with a lot of speed. Tony hanging tough on the bottom. And now we're at the competition yellow. Jeff Hammond. Yeah, for Carl Andrews, he comes into the pits. He and Jimmy Johnson, he and Jimmy Fendick, the side of the car is a little tight in the center. Well, if we're at a half mile or a mile and a half for Daytona and Talladega restarts, these guys are getting after it. Again, yeah. Stewart, uh, Stewart scoots away. It and for our second place guy, Derek, I mean, uh, Denny Hamlin, he told his crew chief, Darren Grubb, is into pit road. Kurt said that the car was tight at about the three-quarter mark of the corner, and then it ruins his exit. The car swings loose. They've made a chassis adjustment. Kyle Busch kept from running in the back and joined the guy right there. Ooh, nice. We had a bizarre start to this race. I mean, you know, the jet blower, jet, jet dryers were blowing the cow flaps up and the hoods up and Jeff Hammond guys we talked about it earlier the speeding penalty kind of took the air out of their uh, sails earlier but they've been just steadily working back through the field but the main thing is these pit stops have been gaining in pit stops I mean pit positions or position on the racetrack every time they come down pit road yes sir He's Joey Logano Logano has walked away from this field 2014, let's take a look at the point standings. Michael Walter, here's a nugget. First time Jeff Gordon has led the points since after the Coca-Cola 600 in 2009. But Chris, I mean, Steve, I'm looking at that right column. Six miles around, it's too tough to take. You saw he traveled from Texas all the way over to South Carolina. And something interesting happened on the way. Steve, what's your name? <laughs> Steve. We, we, My middle name is Chris. 
Uh, what do you guys think, though? I mean, after you win your first race, you're going to have a big party or something? Bring all your fans over? Uh, a clue as to where Chase Elliott picked up that Darlington strike? Doubled up for the restart here in Darlington. Kevin Harvick. Uh, Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson is Daryl Walsh, if you got a copy, buddy. Hey, Kyle, you got a copy, buddy? That gum rookie. That gum rookie probably got his radio on the wrong channel. What do you think? And Kyle Larson is Daryl Walsh, if you got a copy here, bud. Well, the best laid plans. That's okay.